again, my dear friends. Deloitte Delights is back with you and we are making an egg recipe today. That's right, we are doing our just egg once again. This is a lovely little recipe um, that just kind of brings it together with some potatoes that we have used before in our potato hash. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be simple and you can do it. So let's jump on in, let's make it happen. Okay, my lovely friends, we are making, like I said, another just egg recipe. Okay, this is a just egg muffin. Okay, it is a muffin, but we're doing it on the stove. We're actually going to be steaming it all the way through. So, as you remember, um, we would have done our potato hash before. So, we're going to be using back some of it in the recipe. I don't like to throw food away, so I like to make sure I'm using up everything. Okay. So I'm just going to scoop out some of it. We have those potatoes in there and those olives in there and lots of fresh herbs and seasonings. All right, that should be just about right. And what I'm going to do is use my potato masher and just kind of bring them into subjection a little bit. Yes, just like that, just bringing it together. So it gets nice and gooey and sticky. I'm stirring it. You can see that it's getting nice and sticky because before they were a little bit, you know, free. And that's okay. But I want them to kind of just mash in just a little bit. I'm gonna do it one more time. Just like that. Sorry, I'm really a left-hander. A little bit ambidextrous sometimes, but mostly a left-hander. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna scoop that away. Okay, guys. So, like I said, this is from our previous recipe with the the hash. You can just use regular potatoes. You can keep them cubed if you like, but I just really, really like them a little bit mashed in this recipe. So now I'm going to use my spoon and I'm just getting a little nice bit of the mixture. I have already sprayed this pan. All right. So once again, just little bits right at the bottom of the pan. Okay, guys, I'm going to press this into the bottom of my mold. This is my little muffin pan mold here. Some of them have a little bit more than others and that's okay. All right. So now that that's nice and tucked in down there at the bottom of my pan, I want to show you what it looks like. Okay, those little pieces you're seeing are the red, the calamata olives that we had put in before. Now, before we got started, I created a nice little bath. This is just hot water, okay? I have it on a nice low temperature, but it's already in a rippling place, so it's boiling. And here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and set these babies right in there, just like that, okay? So while that's getting nice and heated up, I'm gonna cover it for a little bit. It's gonna start getting nice and hot. Make sure that your water is not coming up and getting into your pan, okay? You want it to stay beneath, but you want it to create a nice steamy surface. All right, there we go. Okay, guys, so this is our Just Egg. Lovely, lovely stuff. Vegan, completely gluten-free, and it comes in this 12-ounce uh, package, and then I'm gonna do just about half of it. So half of it in here. All right, you can go ahead and exactly measure it if you need to but I don't feel like I need to. I'm just doing half of it in there. Okay, to that, I'm going to add a couple of cracks of salt. Not much. Our potatoes are already uh, nice and salty because they have, um, you know, those olives in there. I'm gonna do a dash of pepper. 
I'm also gonna do some parsley. Just like that, okay? And now I'm just gonna bring this all together really quickly. Quick with a stir, you can also use a whisker to do this. All right, now that I have my egg mixture done, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna open up my pot. See, it's nice and steamy. I am adding a few shreds of um, cheddar. Today I'm using the Viola, Viola Life vegan cheese shredded or cheddar shreds, I think is what they call it. I'll show the package to you here in a quick, quick second. All right, so not a whole lot, just a little bit, adding another dimension of flavor, which is what we're all about, okay? So Viola Life right here. Um, it's vegan, it's really good stuff, and this is their cheese, uh, their cheddar shreds. Really, really good stuff, you should try. All right, so here we go with our Just Egg Mixture. And I'm gonna start from out here so you can see as I'm pouring it. I'm gonna just pour it right on top. Just like that. Here comes another one. And another one. Okay guys, once you got your little egg mixture in there, you wanna make sure that you have enough hot water on both sides. I'm just gonna add a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and cover her up. And the steam is gonna cook our eggs through. We're gonna let it go for a good five to six minutes to make sure they're very, very well cooked. I'm gonna bring my temperature up just a tad bit. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let them cook. I'll be right back with you. Okay, my friends, so I'm gonna check on them. It's been a couple minutes. All right, they are starting to get nice and firm around the edges. I can see that they're solidifying a little bit. So what I wanna do now is add my little cherry tomatoes that I've halved, okay? Just like that, right on top. Gonna make it mighty pretty. Right on the very top. I'm putting them uh, seed down. So the, there's the middle, okay? And I'm just putting them seed down just in there like that. All right, I'm gonna cover it and let us steam all the way through. Okay, my lovely friends. So it has been cooking now for just about six minutes. Like I said, this recipe takes about five to seven minutes, okay? So I am gonna check them right now. I'm gonna open up. Oh yeah, they're looking pretty lovely. They have uh, come up a little bit. I don't know if you can see from all the way over there, but they've come right up and set right up on the top, okay? All right, I just wanna stick my knife in just into the egg mixture. It's coming out nice and clean. So I know that my recipe is good to go. It's cooked. I'm not sticking it all the way down to the potatoes, just in the egg mixture right up here, okay? It's also pulling away really nicely from the corners. So I got me a muffin. Yes, yes, yes. All right, guys, I'm about to turn the stove off and I am going to take it out from there right away. I want it to cool a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, okay? All right. It's gonna be a good time. We gotta let these cool for a little while just before we take them out. So I'll right, be right back with you. All right, guys, I just wanted to quickly show you they are all done. They've been cooling now for about six, eight minutes. And what I did was I just used my butter knife and went all the way around, okay? Because it's nice and solidified now. And then I used my spoon and scooped it right out of there. I was doing it and I was like, oh, I need to show them. So that's what happened, that's what I did. 
And next, I want to dust this baby with uh, some lovely pasta flakes because that's going to make it super pretty. Yes, yes, yes. And I just like mine with a little bit of cayenne pepper. If you don't like cayenne pepper, you don't want the heat and you want the prettiness, you can still use like maybe some um, paprika or something like that. But I'm just going to dust just the top of them. All right. Just the top of them with a little bit of pepper. All right, guys. Next, we're going to eat it together. Let's do this. Okay, my lovely folks. This is our muffin. Yeah, has a nice dusting of parsley and the cayenne pepper that I put on top. Like I said, if you don't want to use pepper, you could use paprika. But we are about to taste this little baby. I love how the little cherry tomato is like peeking out right there. Yeah, do you see it? Just peeking out. She's very pretty, isn't she? Yes, we're going to cut all the way in. Got that nice potato hash in the bottom. Egg mixture on top. Mm. Listen, guys. Just egg is the business. Mm hmm. It's good. Really, really good. Also, my cheddar is coming through. That viral one. Mm hmm. Yeah. She's coming through. Nice little flavor. Guys, this is really, really good. Nice, light, easy way. Like I said, we did six of them. You can put them away for another time. They're great. It's great for like a Sunday morning brunch. You know what I mean? Got those potatoes in the bottom. I'm going to show you a different way to have this very same recipe with some beans and chips on the side. Yes, yes, yes. Because you got to mix it up sometimes. This is Deloitte's Delights bringing you another delightful recipe. It is also a very, very delicious and decadent. And I hope that you try. I hope you like our video. And we hope that you come back another time. Hope to see you again. Peace and blessings to you and yours. Bye now.